Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the LifeProof Free Power Case for the iPhone 6S or 6. This is a battery case that's also waterproof. So inside it, you can see there's the case. We'll open it in just a second. It's got a 2600 milliamp hour battery. It's got an at-a-glance battery status ID on the back, and it rapid recharges, and it auto-stop charges to save power. On the back, you'll see it's submersible up to 6.6 .6 feet for one hour. It's sealed from dust and dirt. It's also closed to snow and ice and should survive drops from six and a half feet or so. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we're going to test this underwater and make sure it, it works. We'll test it with the phone in it also. Here is the case. So oh, that's the top of the box. Here's the case. So it's pretty thick, but it's a battery case. Inside we have a little microfiber cloth and we have instructions. We'll look at those in just a moment. We have the normal extension cable for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You can see there's a little ring on there to seal it in. And then underneath we have a charge cable. So this must charge via micro USB. So let's move that aside and take a look at the case. So we'll open this up and let's see what we have here. So we've got a sticker that says live life proof and we're here to help. So there's their contact information. So this is the case itself. You can see it connects via lightning to help charge the phone. The bottom opens up and you've got micro USB. And then you've got this port here, which opens up to give you access to your headphone jack. And it just seals with a little ring and it stays attached. Hopefully that will hold up over time. And around the side, you see you've got a cutout for the, the camera that's sealed also. You can see it says, before exposing your device to water, it's important to water test your case. So this ensures correct case assembly and watertight seal. Never submerge unassembled case components. So we'll go ahead and test it. And you'll see here too, to charge phone, press and hold the button for one to three seconds. That's a status. So I just took it out and it has two bars of charge. So we'll charge that later on. But that's pretty much it. This is kind of like a plastic pad. And then on the front, you've got a gasket here which is actually a little bit loose, but you've got a gasket and then you've got your buttons and everything on the side. So let's go ahead and take a look at the manual, see what they want us to do as far as testing it goes. Last time you normally submerge, submerge this for about 30 minutes underwater. Here you can see it says submerge in water for 30 minutes, remove dry and look for more moisture or look inside for moisture. So we'll do that. So let's set that up now and we'll be right back. All the ports are sealed, so I'm going to put it underwater, just put a cup on it, and we'll leave it for about 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and check for leaks. I've taken this out of the water. You can see it's still wet a little bit. Let's dry it off a little bit more, and let's see if we have anything inside it. So I haven't opened this up yet. So right here, I don't see anything on the port, which is nice. Let's go ahead and unscrew this, just to make sure nothing's gotten in there. I don't see anything in there. So this is where it gets a little bit difficult is you have to pull this apart and you've got this little spot here. You can use a coin or whatever you have, and it does take a good amount of force usually to pull these apart. Just work around it. And there you have it. So inside, let's make sure this water's all on the outside. And I touched the inside with my hand actually. So there wasn't water in there. And then in here down by the ports, I don't see any water at all. So that's good. That means we're ready to go as far as putting our phone in it. So let me get this ready here. Just make sure it's all dry. And I've got my phone right here and we'll just slide it into place. And it sits like that. This rocks a little bit uh, and it just sits on the back just like that. So let's go ahead and Snap this down. Now I don't have a skin or anything on my phone. Uh, a lot of the time people ask me in the previous videos I've done with this, uh, will a skin fit? And really it won't. There's really not much room for a skin to fit in there. 
Uh, you could try it, but really, this is such a tight tolerance that you really don't want to test that. So we'll snap this into place. We'll put this little plug here for the headphone jack. Now you can see you can't put a normal headphone jack in there. You need to put this little headphone jack that screws in like this. It seals, and then you can use this. So you can use it, but you really can't use it without this extension. But they do include it with it. We'll put the ports back in, or we'll screw this back in. Not a whole lot of room to do that as far as screw this down in. And then the bottom just seals like this. So this one's actually more sealed than some of the others. And you see I have a little bit of water on here still. Now, touch screens that are capacitive like this won't work underwater. But Touch ID works just fine. It worked on the previous one, and you can see there. I don't see any air bubbles between the screen. If you do put in a screen protector, if it's real thin, you may get some air bubbles. But on the side, you can adjust the volume. The buttons are a little bit hard to press. And then this switch works pretty much in reverse of what you'd expect. So it kind of is a lever that pops up and down on the side, and it works just fine. Nothing on the top. You've got good exposure for the camera. Your power sleep wake button. It works well. And the reason the speakers work is they have kind of a film over them. And I'm not exactly sure Maybe they're using these as the portholes for the speakers. So you are going to get a little bit of muffling with that. I'll place a phone call on this also to let you know what it sounds like before the end of the video. The other thing this does is charge. So if we hold this down, it charges. So you see it just turned on. It's charging. And it's good for a full charge, I guess, at this point, they said. And that should help a lot. It does add a good amount of weight. It is pretty bulky, but it is waterproof. So let's see how waterproof it is, and we'll throw it into a... A uh, filled tub and see what that's like. The phone is sealed up and ready to go, so we're going to toss it into the tub and see how it does. Being that this is a capacitive touch screen, it won't work underwater. So if we bring it above water and we hit the camera button, you can see, there we go, we can use the volume up button to actually take pictures with it or record video. So it will record using that method. We can go home, but we can't do much else while it's underwater. It's been underwater for a little bit anyway. Let's zoom out here and take a closer look at what it's like to drop it into water again. The phone is fine every time I've pulled it out of the water. It seems to work okay. Again, it won't work while it's underwater, but it seems to be just fine. So let's go take a look and see if there's any water inside it as well. I just took the phone out of the water. You can see there's still water on it. So let me dry it off a little bit. On the back, it's still a little bit wet as well. And it seems to have held up okay. It's still working and it's actually still charging also. So let's pop this off and see what it looks like underneath. So we'll put this out just so we don't get water all over. We'll undo the latch here. So looks like some of the water just came down around, but it didn't get into the port itself. So let's dry everything off thoroughly. And let's pop it apart. Now I did make a couple calls with the phone and it sounds pretty good. The volume is a little bit lower than normal, which is to be expected. You've got the ports covered, but it is audible and they should be able to hear you just fine as well. You may just need to speak up a little bit as opposed to normal. So you can see the phone itself doesn't have any water anywhere that I can see. Let's pull this out of here and nothing on the phone whatsoever. So it's nice and dry, which is what this case is designed to do is keep it nice and dry. Nothing inside and it works really well. I've put the case back on just to show you that 3D touch works on an iPhone 6S. So if you 3D touch on Instagram, it seems to work fine. You can use the app switcher by pushing in the corner. Now you do have to push a little bit further to the left just because you have less room to work with, but 3D touch works okay, touch ID works fine, and I think this should keep the phone pretty well protected if you're someone that needs the extra power and needs this sealed from water or anything else that might get in it during either work or you're out side doing whatever, uh, this should keep you pretty protected or keep your phone pretty protected. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Again, this is the life po life proof free power case. It gives two times extra battery and I'll leave a link to them in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.